Hi guys, Jimmy with Jimmy's Auto and Firearms, and I've got another great Colt to show you today. Now, a couple weeks ago, I was at the Fort Worth Gun Show and running down an aisle, and I saw this particular Colt laying at a guy's table. Now, it's a model O, the letter O, 1080 CCS. Now, that's a Colt uh, competition series 45 caliber ACP. So what struck me about this gun as I walked down and looked at it was a couple of the modifications that had been done to the gun. And I'm not sure that this particular seller, he took the gun in on trade and I'm not sure he uh, really recognized what had been done to it. So anyway, it caught my eye and uh, let me share it with you. And uh, I'll point out what had been done that jumped out at me. And uh, first off, here's the gun. Let's take a look, show you that it is a completely unloaded firearm. Nothing in the chamber, nothing in the magazine. So, with that being said, uh, also in the box were some of the Colt Blue Black G10 grips, which was a, a great addition to have, plus the... Colt medallion wood grips that were on it. So I'm going to take and show you around the firearm first and see if you happen to see or notice, shall we say, the things that have been changed on this firearm. Again, this is a Colt competition series. Hope you're picking that up. So here's a look at it. And here's... All right, so let's go over what had been done to it that caught my attention. Other than that, it's a... Uh, first thing is your slide stop lever or slide stop release. If you'll look there, that's got the extended slide stop. See how this is longer than on most of them? Uh, that's a competition shooter's addition to a firearm. So somebody's changed out that. And then probably the thing that caught my eye the most was that this firearm is they had changed the mainspring housing slash magwell it's a one piece to the flared magwell. This gun would normally come with a flat bottom magwell. So someone was really into shooting, shall we say, that uh, made these modifications. The gun looks uh, in great condition. It looks like a low round count gun. It does have what I'll call the infamous slide stop scratch right there. For those people that don't know how to properly put a a field strip gun back together, they'll scratch it right there almost every time. Now, here's one other thing that really, really set it apart, why I decided to buy the firearm, is the two mags that were included with the gun. Now, normally, this flared magwell comes on the Gold Cup Trophy model with this flared magwell from the factory. And they have what I'll call special magazines. Now, these are really cool because they are the proper, see the Colt logo there on the side of the magazine? Both magazines are the correct, they were made by Checkmate, and you'll see that there's a little... Uh, uh, steps, shall we say, in that bottom plate. The reason for that bottom plate is so that when you're installing one, in, that it sticks down past that flared magwell. So these these were made by a company called Checkmate for Colt, but they're really, they're really, really, really hard to find Colt logoed with the proper black bump pad that has the steps on. So these are the correct magazines for a gold cup trophy. So very hard to find and pretty expensive if you could find them. So I, when I saw this sitting there and I had the, these two magazines with it, I went, golly, I gotta have that firearm. So 
Anyway, there's another look at it. Uh, standard 1911 type stuff. A beaver tail safety, a left side thumb safety. Uh, the competition model does come with uh, an adjustable rear sight and a fiber optic front sight. So again, these are some changes that if you're into uh, speed shooting, shall we say, you might want to consider this extended slide stop lever right here. You'll notice it comes on back. And then the mainspring housing and flared magwell that are one piece. So cool additions, just couldn't pass the gun up. So hey, hit that subscribe button. Hit, Give me a like. Uh, subscribe. It won't cost you a penny and we're getting close. We're trying to grow the channel. We're trying to hit that magic 500 number. So any comments or questions, put them down below. I really, really appreciate y'all watching the videos. Until next time, we'll see you down the road.